Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is HP laptop's original battery. Around 9 months back, my laptop was having less backup and I gave it to the HP's authorized service center and they replaced the battery and gave this used one to me. You can see the three cells are bulged. Not much bulged but yeah, it is gone. It was working fine and after 7 months of usage, we noticed that the backup was reducing. This time I thought that I will replace this battery. Before that, I will show you the condition of the existing battery and we will dismantle this battery and I will show you some magic in that. The battery number is same but this battery was also bulged and in this time not with a small amount but like a balloon. You can clearly visible how much it was bulged and not all cells, only one cell is bulged. This battery has three cells connected in series and other two cells I hope will be good. Let's dismantle this battery and let's see what is inside. Don't skip this video because you are going to watch uh, some magic from an authorized service center. You can see the three cells and one cell is bulged and in each cell it is written as 3.7 volt and 3000 milliage but in the wrapper that is battery wrapper it is written as 11.4 volt. How comes this 11.4 volt from a 3.7 volt battery? This is the first magic. For getting 11.4 volt each cell should be 3.8 volt but lithium cells are having 3.7 volt only. Second magic is look at the ampere. It is written as 3420 milliH, but each cell is having 3000 milliH only because in this battery three cells are connected as series. When batteries are connected in series, the ampere will be same. That is 3000 milliH only, but they have written as 3420 milliH. What I am planning to do is we will replace each cell with the two 18650 batteries in parallel. Thus we will use 6 18650 batteries and thus the total capacity of this battery will become 5200 milliH because each cell is having 2600 milliH capacity. So for one cell two batteries and thus 2600 plus 2600 milliH and it will become 5200 milliH. That will increase battery charging time but the backup time will also be increased.
the three batteries are connected to the BMS. BMS means battery management system and you can see the PCB in between the plastic frame and battery. What I am planning is to use the same BMS and connect the 18650 batteries to this BMS. You can see so many contacts in the battery terminals of the battery pack. One is used for sensing the temperature of the batteries while charging. We cannot see any thermistors connected to the battery in this battery pack for sensing the temperature. Another magic, right? And another one is, uh, you can see the battery connection, 0 volt, 4 volt, 8 volt and the final one is 12 volt. This is not uh, 4 volt, it should be 4.2 volt and this should be 8.4 volt and the final one is 12.6 volt. But they have written everything as wrong, which clearly shows that this battery is a duplicate one. And I am not expecting this one from an authorized servicing center. And I am damn sure that this is done by the services center and not by the company. One cell is bulged and the other two are very good. I will make a video on dismantling the bulged battery and let you know what is inside that battery. So please stay tuned to my channel.
After replacing the battery, you have to inform your laptop's battery driver that you have replaced the battery. For that, press Start menu and select HP Support Assistant. Then select Continue as Guest and you will land on this page. You can see the battery icon. That battery icon will be in the disabled state. I have already clicked that one. That is why it is showing enabled in my laptop. By clicking the battery icon, you will reach here. Then you can see a button called Run Battery Check. You have to click that one. It will do some operation to identify the battery capacity and all. This will not take much time. This operation will be completed very soon and you will get a result of your battery. And you can see that primary battery calibration is required. Calibration is needed for identifying the discharge rate or time and charging rate and time of your new battery and it will take around three to five hours for completing this operation after this operation your battery icon at your taskbar will show correct discharge time and correct charging time when you hover your mouse pointer on top of your battery icon this page will explain to you how to do the calibration Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.